During the summers of 2010, 2011, and 2012, I spent over 60 days taking over 750 individual portraits of Native Americans in North Dakota and Montana. I photographed members of over 40 tribes in several dozen different locations. Among those photographs, my favorite, and probably the most important, is that of Richard Gray Day, who was also known as Wolf Eyes Looking. His wife had died, he had cut his hair, given away all his possessions, and he looked like a man who had seen the world and lived through it. His name, Wolf Eyes Looking, comes from an experience that he had when he was five years old. In the Native American tradition, you're either born with a name, given a name, or at some point during your life you have a, a, an experience where you go out and a name comes to you. In this instance, he was playing with a bunch of boys, running through a path on the plains, when all of a sudden a wolf appeared in front of him. The wolf circled, he stopped, the other boys ran by him, and as they got to a ridge they were about to crest, they saw a pit full of rattlesnakes. They ran back screaming. He ran back to his father and told him what had happened. The father took him immediately to the local shaman, the local medicine man, who gave him the name Wolf Eyes Looking, that he would always have the spirit and the vision of the wolf.